with the knowledge of cross product of what we have studied so far let's see some important results so this has already been seen by you but this is just a quick revision if i have to talk about the area of parallelogram i can solve it using the cross product if i have to find the area of a triangle involved in the parallelogram i can again do it if i have to talk about the area of parallelogram in terms of diagonals i can do it still and the fourth is talking about the area of a given quadrilateral with the diagonals so these four things can be automatically and very easily done with the vector product let's talk about the area of a parallelogram so a parallelogram with the adjacent sides as the vectors suppose i have a vector and b vector as the adjacent sides of a parallelogram then what is the actual uh, formula regarding the vector product usage for the area that means if i have to find out area of parallelogram that is a vector cross b vector and you can take the magnitude of it because of the fact that a vector and b vector are the adjacent sides of a parallelogram but if i do not have the adjacent sides provided i have the diagonals provided then in case of the diagonals provided the area of the parallelogram will be half and the same thing a vector cross b vector mind it here the a vector and here the b vector are the diagonals and there the a vector and there the b vector were the adjacent sides talking about the area of triangle so when you know area of one parallelogram with the adjacent sides you found out you can half it to find the area of triangle whatever is your area of parallelogram half of it will be area of the triangle under or in that parallelogram because a parallelogram has two equal triangles last but not the least i have to find out the area of a quadrilateral suppose you have any quadrilateral the quadrilateral is oabc right so this is a quadrilateral so this is oabc now what are the diagonals they are ca and ob or whatever the actual orientation in case of vector is so it is nothing but half d1 cross d2 means where d1 and d2 are the diagonals that is the formula in case of area of quadrilateral so for area computation vector product is actually very important the formulas and the techniques you have to keep in your mind